Kunya, when it comes to Ricardo, I don't have anything to say to him anymore. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I, 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 I'm close to calling ICE. And literally, one of my friends is an ICE agent. It's that serious. Because Ricardo got the nerve. He got some nerve. Road intro. Y'all see the title. It ain't clickbait. I got the updated story of what Ricardo done did to his wife. And I'm flabbergasted. Like, I, first of all, shout out to those of y'all that's on the Patreon, okay? If you're not on the Patreon, you don't fuck with me. So head down to the links in the description and or the pin comment and join the Patreon. It's only $5 a month. You get dedicated uploads, early access, and you get to join the Discord where I post everything before I even film the video. Those of y'all on the Patreon already know about this, okay? I recently did a video about how Ricardo got to argument with his what is that the mime we're just gonna call her the mime because i don't know if she's a wife i don't know if she she degraded to a fiance a girlfriend an ex i don't know where she is thou ask me and how he ripped the braids out of her hair y'all the story is worse than we thought buckle up i can't even say get your tea get your snacks see what compeshita if you are standing take a fucking seat it I, i'm happy i sat on this for a good two weeks before i made this video um, because there be some, there was somebody that commented like, how could you make these videos about such sad topics and then get on camera and talk about them as if they're not so sad. Bitch, I sit on these topics for at least two to three weeks before I film them and then I have another week to even watch it and process it, cut whatever needs to be cut out. So trust me, I'm over it. But I will say when it comes to this, it makes me look at Ricardo so differently. I don't even want to talk to him right now. So Ricardo's ex, the mine. Okay, which is what we called her. The mime called my family in Haiti. Okay, putting plaints for Ricardo. Putting plaint essentially in Creole means to, I guess, try to, how do I explain that in English? When someone's putting plaint for you, that essentially means that you've done something wrong and they're gonna tell your family about you. So they usually go to your parents, your aunts, your uncles, basically to go to your elders to talk about what you've done to them. This is not the first time something like this has happened. Now, I don't know how far back I wanna go into the Ricardo series because Ricardo's done a lot, y'all, like Ricardo. But she basically called my family in Haiti to tell them what happened at the party. What you guys heard, was minuscule, okay? And the story that you guys heard is what he told my father. Clearly the man done lied because he was trying to save his butt. So the mom calls my family in Haiti and talks to Ricardo's sister. Now this sister, I don't think I've ever named her. She's not Yolanda. Yolanda lives in France, Um, but this sister, we're probably gonna call her, wait, I think I did give her a name. No, I think I did. If I did give her a name, it was probably Regina. If we didn't give her a name, we're just gonna call her Regina. So the mom calls up Regina in Haiti and she's essentially like oh really open put they plan oh I'm calling you to tell you about what your brother did to me and you know I just want you guys all to understand that there's no hard feelings I'm not you know upset I'm not pressing charges it's just you know you guys really need to know what type of person he is now mind y'all she should have pressed charges she literally should have called the police immediately I don't know why the fuck he's still here I would have called ice on that man ain't no man about to put no fucking hands on me and you think you about to be living your life scotch-free absolutely not like no but whatever she didn't i don't remember who convinced her not to but it was a whole saga ladies and gentlemen because child like i said shout out to the patrons so essentially from what i understand she calls up regina um she's having this conversation with regina and she's telling regina what happened and in the midst of this conversation she's like oh you know i don't really want to have to tell this story more than one you know, um, could you relay this message to his mother? Now, if y'all know anything about Haitian households in particular, foreign households, you never want to do anything like that. That is seen as the utmost out of disrespect. If you have something to say to someone, especially an elder, you say it directly to them. Ain't no, oh, could you go tell them for me? I don't feel like it. What the fuck are you talking about? That is literally your mother-in-law. Like, if you have something to talk about, especially in regards to her son mistreating you, abusing you, go and talk to 
his mother. You call up his sister and then you're like, oh yeah, relay the message to your mom. I don't feel like telling the story twice. Ciao. And I guess his mom, aka my aunt, who's also coming here, which I'm gonna have to film a video about that because ciao, a mess. Heard her in the background was like, oh, salo pui, de no business, yo, de con feo. Oh, she dirty. She think I had anything to do with her mess? I ain't had nothing to do with they mess. Tell her keep, like, yo, she starts going off. Tell her to keep my name out of her mouth. I want nothing to do with her drama. They never told me about them getting married. And let's just bring that back a little bit. So when Ricardo was getting married, he didn't tell nobody. Okay, when he was first getting married, yes, I said first because Ricardo was about to get married like two or three different occasions. I think it was a solid three. He told me the first time it was supposed to be a thing, then it just didn't happen. Second time, he didn't tell me, I think, but it didn't happen. And the third time, he told me that he didn't tell anyone else. And he was like, oh, invite your parents for me. And then I told my parents and they were highly offended. So it's like, clearly, if he's not gonna tell the people he lives with, you think he's gonna tell the people in Haiti? No. So apparently they found out through the mime. The mime had to tell my family in Haiti that Ricardo was getting married. So you already know. They're like, no, we ain't know your fucking business. What the fuck you calling us for? So his mother's going off in the background. The mime is like, okay, well, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that, you know, Ricardo basically beat the shit out of me, you know, this past weekend. And I just need you guys to understand it's extremely unacceptable to me and my cousins heard this and we were just like, what the fuck is she calling the family in Haiti for? Why didn't you call the police? Somebody beat the shit out of you. You go to the police. You make a police report. You try to press charges. What are you calling us for? Oh, yeah, you know, it, it was just, it was a horrible scenario. I don't know if you heard about what happened. So Regina is like, oh, well, we heard that, you know, you guys got into, you know, a back and forth and he ripped the, the braids out your hair. Child, this is the story. The story that y'all heard me tell was toned down, to say the least. So apparently he knew that she was going to that party, like I told you guys before right? And she did not know he was going to that party. So yes, he did surprise her by showing up to that party. It was her family's party, like I stated it before. Some people in my family happen to be friends with some people in her family. Therefore, that's why some people in my family were there. He pulls up to this party. She wants absolutely nothing to do with him to the point where I don't even think she said hi to the dude. Like she picked up her bags and like tried to head for the door immediately as soon as she saw him. But I am hearing that this conversation took place in the kitchen. Like she's in the kitchen and I think it was like a backdoor situation like everybody was outside But she was like where they were making the food She sees him coming into the house like through the window like outside She's inside where the food is being prepared. She grabs her stuff. She's headed for the back door So, you know, he don't see her or whatever he comes in He starts saying hi to all the people that's making the food and he sees her trying to leave So at that point everybody's looking at her like oh shit Where are you going because like they're trying to say hi to him He's saying hi to the people but now they're all looking at her like like, oh shit, where are you going? Like, where are you going, mime? Like, why are you in such a rush to go? So now he, I guess, trying to be funny or trying to like, oh yeah, where are you going? Like, where are you going? So he tries to block her. Like, you know how like you be talking to somebody or like you're you're having a conversation with someone and they, they trying to block you like this. Like they trying to like, you take one step, they take this, the opposite step trying to block you. That ends up happening. And I forgot to mention, she happens to be with her sister at this event as well. So she's with her younger sister. And I actually met this younger sister too and she a firecracker okay i don't know if i mentioned that before but she she low-key a firecracker so she's like what the hell like move ricardo like what the hell so they start kind of getting into it a little bit but eventually you know she moves him out the way they go outside and he's upset because clearly he shouldn't be rejected Okay, he feels like, why the hell are you rejecting me? Why are you pushing me to go outside? I'm trying to talk to you. Boy, apparently this whole argument, this altercation, whatever, moves to the front lawn. It gets to a point where they start screaming at each other. She's like, don't talk to me. You're not even supposed to be here. Why are you here? You didn't tell me you were coming, just like I mentioned in the last story. All of a sudden, he pulls her by her hair and starts beating the hell out of her on the grass front of the house at this party while the party's going on the sister is screaming bloody murder while this is happening meanwhile he takes the sister throws her across the grass i'm listening to the story as they telling me this like this is not what ricardo said ricardo said he just ripped some hair out her head like on some accidental shit like clearly that wasn't an accident but like the way he said it i'm like he beat the shit out of her so apparently as she's telling regina this she's like yeah um ricardo Lipom 
Lily bop when be about Ricardo, you know, he beat me. Uh, he beat me up real good. And I just want to let y'all know I'm done with Ricardo. Um, there is no more me and Ricardo. And, you know, it is what it is about what he did to me. But, like, it's the fact that he put hands on my sister. He should have never thrown my sister. Like, you don't put hands on my sister. Regina's on the other line just shook. Shook. Okay, shook. Meanwhile, Ricardo's mom, I don't know if she's ever heard the full story because like she's kind of sick, which I'm gonna get back, uh, which she's kind of sick. So I'm gonna get into that in a whole nother video because I'd be sitting here for a while talking about that. So I don't know if like she took it off speaker and walked to another room. I don't know if she know. I think she does know though. Nonetheless, Regina, I guess, is apologizing on behalf of Rick. I guess Regina is apologizing on behalf of Ricardo. I don't know. But even if she did or didn't, it's just like, Ricardo doesn't pay anybody any regards in Haiti, um, whether it's siblings, parents, whatever. So it's like, I don't know why anyone would apologize on his behalf. Like, that's why I kind of refuse to call the girl because I would just make shit worse. I would literally encourage that girl to call the police. Like, they keep asking me, like, oh, have you talked to her? Have you reached out to her? Have you said anything to her? I'm like, I can't because at that point, Ricardo's gonna be locked up. And as much as I would like that, I don't want nobody to say that I'm causing problems he need to be locked up because you don't do that like you don't sit there and put hands on somebody like that and now I'm hearing it wasn't just pulling braids out her hair you beat the shit out of her and then threw her sister like I'm thinking maybe like it was a little push no he physically took that girl and tossed her on the lawn it wasn't until I guess she got tossed and really started screaming that people from the party came and had to like break them up and break them apart. She's now screaming, crying, doing the most. And he's like, oh, uh, make sure she don't call the police. Her mom really wanted to call the police. I don't know if it was the mime that said, no, don't call the police. No, don't do anything. But I'm just sitting here like, I, that shit gives me a headache. Like I'm, I'm getting a headache right now just thinking about it. Like why would you not want to call the police? Like, I mean, I. I guess not to get him in trouble because technically he doesn't have any papers and you know some people are really empathetic to, towards things like that but I don't give a fuck you don't have papers you shouldn't be trying to beat my ass okay you paperless don't do crimes <laughs> like I don't understand so apparently from what I understand the conversation ended with I guess amicable you know this is gonna be my last call to you I just wanted to let you know what Ricardo has been doing and what really happened I'm not sure what you guys heard but that's the real story and Regina was like oh like that's not what we heard like we heard that you know you guys got into a little thing and he ripped hair at your head you know like i'm so sorry blah 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 and i'm just sitting there like that shit is nuts because why first of all i don't even understand the point of the phone call she should have addressed his mother um i guess his sister's close enough but the thing is nobody really talks to ricardo besides maybe his mom when he feels like talking to his mom and then a select few other people so it's like mm, you should have addressed the people that actually mattered to him his mother ain't one of them okay his mother ain't one of them but at the same time i feel like you should go to the the the, the, the hierarchy if you want to do some shit like that i don't know like come down below what do you think i don't know i feel like when people do that like that whole put their plank culture the whole telling your parents or telling the elders of your family what you did especially when you're already a full-grown adult is fucking dumb to me like what my mama gonna do what my daddy gonna do exactly like especially with ricardo ricardo was like damn near 80 like he like 40 years old like what what did y'all like what do you know and he don't listen to nobody he barely listens to his mom barely listen to his wife that's why he ain't got one now so it's just like i don't know what she thought she was gonna solve by that i mean it was good that she actually spoke up and told the real story because i would have just walked around thinking oh yeah he pulled some braids out of her head. that's really fucked up but now that i know he beat the shit out of her at a party in public bruh so same day i learned this shit i'm basically um at my parents house and i was gonna call him like, like i think i did call him actually i called him there you go. so same day i learned this shit i was at my parents house and i called him like yo where are you at because mm -mm, we need to talk because i was gonna ask him like what the the fuck because at this point up until this point, I haven't said anything to him about that. I haven't said nothing about him in mind. I haven't said, hey, you got a divorce. Hey, y'all broke up. I operate on a need to know basis. If you didn't tell me, I don't need to know and I'm gonna act like I don't know. So essentially, um, he ends up showing up. I was later after I called him and he said he was gonna come in. This is his MO. Okay, if you guys haven't peeped it, it's a thing that he does. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming two hours later. So basically he shows up and I was like, um, oh, we were talking about his mom. And again, I'm gonna have to save that for the other video because he started to piss me the fuck, like he got me hot as fuck. And I was like, well, whatever it is, you gotta go pick up your mom from the airport because you know, you really want her to meet your wife, you know, as your wife, like clearly I already know the situation, but I wanted to see what he was gonna say. What wife? So I'm like, oh, so what do you mean, what wife? So there's no wife no more? Like, what happened? Like, what happened? He's like, oh, I'm getting a divorce. 
rarely do you ever hear Haitians get a divorce. I'm going to tell you that much. Um, usually they just stay together and live completely separate lives. So I was just like, really? He was like, yeah, go check my room trying to be funny. And I really went to go check in his room. He was like, nah, I'm joking. It's not in my room, but it really is coming in the mail. We're getting divorced. And I was like, oh, this shit serious? I mean, mm. I was like, what happened? And he didn't want to say nothing. He was smoking his hookah. He was like... <laughs> Smoke his Luca. So I'm just like, okay, well, I told your ass not to marry her. Swear to God, when he told me he was getting married to that girl, I was like, please don't marry her. Because when she had accused me of incest, I knew something was wrong with that bitch. And on top of that, she's just vile. He's vile. They're both vile to each other. I was like, this is never going to work. I was like, suck. I was like, ki es ki voyeu, almanye. Who sent you to go get married? Ou fout cho, ou fout soumoun. You, ou get fully mariage to up. You out here up her ass for the what? For the who? Like, what is you trying to get married for? You know you a hoe? Like, I literally said all that shit to his face. I said, nobody sent your ass. Ki es ki voyeu. Well, on tout les that's your business. Now you're getting divorced, aren't you? And you still ain't getting no papers. Disgusting. How you gonna try to finesse? And you ain't even finesse right. How you, child, embarrassing. I mean, I will say, I. I do think he did love the girl. And I know a lot of people don't like when I say that, but I don't think he loved the girl. I just feel like he has problems. Like, it, when I'm telling y'all, he's been looking disheveled ever since that girl left him. He don't even feel like he showered properly. His hair looked crazy. His face looked crazy. His clothes looked crazy. His light looked crazy. He looked crazy. So, to be quite honest with you, I don't know what's going to be happening with Ricardo. I don't know what's going to happen uh, in the future. If this is really going to be a real divorce forever, if she's really not going to come back. But Ricardo already got all these girls left and right in the house and looks like he's moving on he does look sad though so we'll, we'll see we'll see but honestly i definitely do look at ricardo completely different after this because how you beat the hell like when it comes to woman beaters it gets me mm, angry y'all already saw how i come at jj like bro like i don't even associate with a man like that because no um the cousin that was with him doesn't speak to him anymore either Catherine the one that was with him at the party that basically told my mother um that the shit happened before you know he she was able to get the story she's like yeah like that was like my favorite cousin mind you she used to be around him a lot she's like I, I can't fuck with him anymore like we're all kind of just looking at Ricardo like bro like we ain't fuck with you before but now this is not even on no petty shit you done up like, he at least needs to, uh, I don't know, try to go ask for her forgiveness or something. Because that is absolutely disgusting behavior. For you to go put hands on another woman to that extent. Not even just pulling her hair to beat the hell out of her and then to take her sister and to throw her. Like, come on now. Like, you're way stronger than her. You're way bigger than her. And then, mm, not that much bigger. But on top of that, it's just like, so unnecessary. All because she kind of ignored you and she didn't want to talk to you. Like, you surprised her somewhere that you knew that you were going to be at. Where you knew she was going to be at and you didn't tell her you were gonna be there you know it's just it's it's really silly and it's really unfortunate it really is so i mean hopefully he learns to stay single this time because with that being said let me know what you guys think i feel like he should go to jail i feel like he should call ice on his ass and i wouldn't be shocked if any day now the police come knocking on the door because the way that family set up i wouldn't put it past them and i wouldn't be mad either hence why i don't want to hit her up because i would be the one to influence that shit um and i don't want nobody coming at me and, do i really care I mean, that'd be a good way to get him out the house but you know what i'm not karma 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 God gonna handle it. Okay, so let me know. Comment down below. What would you guys do? What do you guys think about the situation? Have you heard of anything as crazy as this? With that being said, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Do all that. Join the Patreon. Everything you need is linked down below. And I'm gonna see y'all next time. Bye! <laughs>